Ta -da! What I hold in my hand right now is one of the most expensive papers for filter coffee. This is the Sibarist flat filter. So this Sibarist paper is from our good friend um, April. Yeah, because this is very expensive. And I told her I want to try first before I buy it. Uh, they say it's one of the best um, paper filters for the Aurea. If you're not familiar with the Aurea, the Aurea has um, a smooth profile inside. The walls of the Aurea are smooth. Having a smooth wall, you, you have minimal um, bypass. And in order for you to enjoy this, you need a paper filter like this. The Sybaris paper is a fast flowing paper. So because you don't have bypass on the walls, um, there is a high tendency for you to clog. By using a fast flowing paper filter, you can go um, much finer on your grind size, which gives you a much more sweet, um, much more complex, uh, better body coffee. I'm gonna figure this out how to because if you if you've noticed um, I don't know if you can see on the camera but there are scoring there is a scoring guide there is a scoring guide for how to fold it right so yeah bear with me this is the first time I'm gonna there are um, scoring marks on this ah oh, there Okay, you see that? Okay, so we're gonna do that on all four sides. Okay, I'm wondering how, how fine can we go? Okay, so now we have folded um, four sides. We can put it now on our Aurea. Ah, pero doesn't fit. Okay, I have the fake Aurea here, which I use as a negotiator sometimes because I don't have a negotiator. So you will be. So you're you're gonna have to. Ah. Okay. So the the scoring marks are not perfect. I guess. And you're gonna have to adjust. Or maybe I have the wrong Aurea. Yeah, I think we have we have nice coverage. Now I'm gonna wet it. Yeah, I think we have we have good contact. We're gonna use the black and bold coffee that Anna bought me. This is a very bright and very floral beans. So if my theory is correct, we will be able to extract more sweetness out of it because of the Sibarest paper and the Aurea. And for the setting, um, we're gonna do 19 clicks on the Comandante. Okay. I want to do two equal parts of 100 ml. That pouring technique gave me the sweetest cups on Aurea. And let's hope that we don't clog. Right, I'm using 90 degree water. And 
let's start the time. Oh, that smells so good. And at 45 seconds, we're gonna do another 100 ml. But yes, it is really a fast flowing um, paper filter. Imagine we did 19 clicks on the Comandante, but it's still very fast. Okay, total brew time is 1 minute 40 seconds. Look, oh, look how cloudy the coffee is. Well, the aroma smells of uh, chocolate and berries. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. <laughs> you know what's running on my mind right now? I feel like I'm eating a chocolate wafer with berries on it. <laughs> there is a lot of improvement that we can do because um, imagine I did not do any change in temperature I did not do any um, any technique any pouring technique I just poured two equal parts of 100 ml and we got this it's really good so I guess the paper filter, no matter how expensive it is, you can actually see the value in it, right? It brews very differently. Imagine we are able to, we are able to do a finer grind size and then dump water on it, like large amount of water, 100 ml. And it did not clog, it was a fast, draw down and the coffee is really good um yes i really enjoyed it um i might buy some for myself again i want to thank april for giving us this sibarest paper for us to try um, i'm not sure if it's available here in the philippines um if you know someone who sells this um, fast flat papers tell me let me know in the comments but yeah thank you april for providing us with the sibarist papers and yeah for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye Nuts, nah.